Hey, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at PhotoP. Now, PhotoP is kind of like a lightweight browser um, Photoshop alternative. It has like most of the basic tools that you need to do um, basic photo editing. And I think it's just a great alternative if you don't have like any software or if you want, just want something to quickly edit a photo in. Uh, photo P is a great option for that. So uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to be doing um, in this video is we're going to be creating a quick uh, Instagram graphic and uh, just kind of get like familiar with the tools and creating something and exporting it so you can post it on social media or whatever you want to do. So the first thing you got to do is go into your file in your menu and create a new file. You'll see that once you open that up, there are a bunch of like pre-made formatted um, themes and templates already made and you can kind of use them if you're just trying to make something quick. But in our case, we're going to be creating our Instagram graphics. So under the social media panel, you'll see a bunch of pre-made um, like canvases for Twitter, U Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we're going to be just, um, strictly um, sticking with Instagram and you can all once you like select the template you'll notice that there's already set dimensions but you can change it to whatever your desired dimensions are so I'm just change this to 900 900 and then let's just add a title graphic all right so yeah once you create it you'll see that you have a blank canvas and you have all your tools, you have all your file, and you can see like with Photo P, you have pretty much like all the basic like tools that you need. You have your adjustments and then you have your effects panel, just like you would in Photoshop. And yeah, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna drag our graphic image into our canvas. And you'll notice that once it loads up that it's not like, we're gonna have to scale it to our canvas. So in order to do that, we have to hold down shift and extrude it from one of the points in the case you don't hold down shift what's going to happen is it's going to scale but it's going to be unproportionate so we don't want that um so what we're going to do is like um go into our select in the case like you lose the points just go into your edit free transform and then your points will pop up Again, and then you want to hold down shift and then you just want to scale it to your desired size and then you can kind of move it around and once you're content with where the image is on your canvas you can just hit enter and it'll position itself into a new position all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a color overlay to kind of you know contrast your little image a little bit with when we once we add our text so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer on the bottom right hand corner and we're going to use our rectangle tool to create a shape over our image and it's going to automatically fill with red so now like if you wanted to change the color of the shape there there's two ways to do it but the way i prefer doing it is just go straight into your effects panel and hitting color overlay and you can now like control the, the color of this shape so you can like change it to whatever you want um you can use a slider to get more other colors and in our case i'm just going to stick to red so i'm just going to cancel this out and what I want to do is I want to kind of take down the opacity so we can s still see a bit of our image. So I'm just going to go down. You'll see that the opacity slide is right here. And you can kind of play around with it until you see something you like. All right. So yeah, that's good enough. All right. So now we have our image. We have our overlay. The next thing we want to add is some text. So in order to add text, we can use the text tool or we can click T on our keyboard and um, we're automatically be in our text text tool so what we're going to do is scale out a box a text box and now we can just start typing into it yeah so yeah once you type your text you can now you can in order to change the text you can do it up here but i personally just use a character panel because there's more like settings so yeah, once it's, your text is selected, you can change the size of it by using the slider under the size. Um, you could change the tracking, which is the spacing between the letters. 
um, what else? You can even change the color. In our case, I want to change it to white so it looks better over red. And then you can even, you know, make it uppercase using the uppercase tool. What else? Um, so yeah, we have our text. And another thing is, let's say you're editing your image and then you wanted to edit your text again, you have to manually like select the layer in order to like make any adjustments to it, or it's not gonna select as it, like if, if you you need to be on the layer to make any edits. So we're gonna go back to our text and then we're gonna hit the T tool again, and then we're gonna go back into our text. Now we can let me just change the font real quick. Um, I can go in to the the font panel and I can look for a specific font or I can even upload my own web fonts so you can use them inside of photo P so I'm just gonna use the font that I think looks kind of nice all right so we got our font now um, let me add just a bit more text a second You can also change the font, like family. Like if you have like a specific font, you can change the weight of the font. So I kind of want to make it a little heavier for the company name of this graphic. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Our text is looking good. Um, and if you want to like select more than one layer, just hold shift and you can select two of them and then you can just go on, on top of the text and you can kind of scale it down you'll notice that um the snapping isn't as intuitive but if you want to have more control over the positioning you can go into your view on the menu bar and you can just show rulers and then you can use drag out a line or a guide um to kind of guide you like which way you want to like um the positioning of your elements so yeah we have our text let's say we want to add our logo it's the same procedure as you would be dropping a photo just drag and drop onto your image and then you'll also get the points again and then kind of hold down shift and then adjust the size or the scale to your desired preference and then just hit enter and you'll you'll have your your logo you have your graphic and uh yeah so we're pretty much done our simple graphic for our instagram um in order to export it you'll notice that there's a p portable network graphic download and then the scalable vector graphic download buttons here what they do is they actually just export the selected layer so if i was on this layer and i just hit these they would just download the selected layer not our whole composition or image in order to like export our whole image we have to go into file and we have to we can also save it as a PS, like photoshop file if you want to maybe do more advanced editing in the software later but in our case we're just going to be exporting as a png so you'll notice that there are other formats here um, scalable vector graphic is for when you want to maybe like create a graphic and you want to scale it onto a t-shirt or something larger like a poster so if that's the case for your situation then go for it but in our case we're just uploading instagram and i would recommend just portable network graphic and then you'll notice that you have the dimensions again make sure to just keep it the way it is because it might cause some clippings if you increase or decrease the size um you can change the quality and then you can also just change your file format if you kind of change your mind if you want to just stick to jpeg or something else so yeah once you hit save the image automatically just downloads onto your computer and then you can use and then you can view it in your image viewer or whatever so yeah there you go you have your your image and you can just airdrop it onto your phone and then upload it wherever you want to so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial just a quick um intro to like photo p photo p is just great like software like great web tool if you don't have the software installed if you're just trying to make quick edits on the fly but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video catch you in the next one